here by the site of the former Silverwood Colliery. The shafts began to be sank in 1900, that's 122 years ago, and the first coal being worked by 1904. The colliery continued production, very, very busy indeed, up until 1994 when the colliery was then closed, and the main seam continued to be worked by the nearby Maltby main colliery. So all this land around me has been reclaimed, saplings have been planted by the Forestry Commission, but what happened between the working life of the colliery in 04 right through till 1994. Well, it was obviously served by the railways and the railways covered majority of the coal mines in the UK and they were very, very busy at times. And so I've come to look at the railway line that joined onto this colliery, it served this colliery. And in one way, it would take you over to Rotherham and Mexborough on the main line and the other way, it would join onto the Hull and Barnsley line. So I'm going to follow the track bed down to Silverwood Junction. We're going to take a look at Silverwood Colliery sidings and then attempt to follow the track bed all the way to the main line. So right next to me, you see the traffic, that is Hollins Lane. And over there, we've got the overbridge that crossed over the line. And you can see there's a gas or water main going across there. But then it looks like the track bed into the colliery has been filled in. And I'm quite surprised, it must have been a lot of reclamation work that's gone off to actually do that, because I can't say I've really seen that happen before. So the bridge is open, and I'm hoping to actually get down there and have a little look at that, because we do need to follow the track bed anyhow. But this here, I think I've actually stood on top of the track bed at road level. So the only way we're going to find that out is to get down onto that track bed and see what it looks like under the bridge, and see what it looks like, what we're standing on. So thanks to realmaponline.com, we can get a better picture of what we're looking at today. So the pink line, that is the railway we are following. And on the right hand side, you can see it links onto the Hull and Barsley railway. That's that purple line. And the blue line on the left is the former LNER line. Let's just zoom in a little bit closer and we'll take a look at our starting point. So all this area that used to be Silverwood Colliery and all the sidings, and this here used to be Silverwood Colliery sidings, and there's Silverwood Colliery Junction. And this is what it all looks like now from Google Maps, just a great big vast area of green grassiness. But it wasn't always like that. If we jump to this map here from around 1934, you can see where all the buildings were of Silverwood Colliery. You can see where the railway goes off towards the left to Silverwood Junction 2. There it is from the other side, apologies for the wind, and that looks like our little track down to the track bed. So I better strap my rucksack on safely because I think we're going to be going for a bit of a trot down here. It looks a little bit, what's my favourite word, precarious, but we're going to, oh, just got to do it, Anna. Ooh. And down we are, track bed level, and that is where we were stood, just up there looks. A load of old rubble. It's gone though. Filled in. It's just been landscaped and flattened. There's the grey pipe going across there, look. And there's another one there going across this bridge. But that is um that's a surprise seeing that like that. I didn't expect that. But now we're underneath anyway. No trace of rails or sleepers at this point. So we're gonna keep walking down. Let's have a Another little look at this bridge from this angle. We've still got the bridge number there, look. Just there. It's um, not nice. I'm going to try and navigate it very, very 
gently, carefully, in a bit of a cutting lot, just slightly. You can see on both sides. And we'll push forward and get ourselves towards Silverwood Junction. And when we do, I'm going to take you to the other side of Silverwood Colliery Sidings, where I'm hoping to find some pretty good stuff. Now, the, the track bed, it got very, very muddy up there, so I've come down the side. But it's treated us to this, like a blue brick retaining wall for the embankment look. So we wouldn't have seen that if it weren't for the mud at the top. Now, curiously, there are steps at this side, look, you can just make them out. And maps are also suggesting that this could have also been a separate track bed just here coming around. So was this some sort of loading bay? You see steps going up just there as well, look. So that is, uh, that's very curious. I mean, there was a quarry just over there on that side. I think it was fibre quarry. So maybe it had something to do with that. Maybe the upper section served the quarry and this was the actual line back to the bridge and into the colliery. Because turning around, that finishes just there, back to soil and embankment, but this carries on flat and straight, look. Yeah, so what this is doing effectively, it was indeed another track bed and it's curving off to the left and it's gonna take us down towards the main line between Mexborough and Rotherham. So up there on the other side of this rock face, the track is gonna go around to Silverwood Colliery Sidings and that's where I'm gonna to jump to now and show you all the stuff that's going off up there. So at this point, I've left the former colliery site behind. That's just over there and I've got myself onto a track bed, but it's not the track bed back to the main line between Rotherham and Mexborough. It is Silverwood Colliery Sidings and it was four or five tracks wide and it was there for sorting and shunting and storage of wagons, maybe empty, maybe full. If we go that way, there's going to be a tight turn to the right and a village called Ravenfield, very, very small. And then the track bed does abruptly end and it's been filled in, landscaped for fields. But it would have joined onto the Hull and Barnsley line. You can't see it, but just over there is Viberg Reservoir and there's a country park over there. That, it must be about five or six minutes walk if I was to go that way. But we're not going to go that way. We're going to follow the track bed through Silverwood Colliery Sidings. And immediately I can show you that there is ballast down, ballast plenty. I'm not entirely sure when this section actually closed. Of course, the siding stayed open as long as the colliery did and shortly after for stockpiling. But the section over towards Ravenfield and the Hull and Barnsley, that must have closed a long time before. If I get the dates for that, I'll pop it on screen below. But going forward, well, you're gonna like this. This is gonna open out in a short while and you're gonna see something pretty good. The line that we're going to be following shoots off to the left and Silverwood Colliery was just off the map down at the bottom. If we jump to this very old map, it's really, really interesting because you can see the course of the railway is under construction. If we look where the junction is, look, that's it. There's no more railway line heading off towards the Hull and Barnsley. It's not been built yet, so the map could not draw this in. So we'll jump to one from 1934 again, and you can see the LMS and LNER is now present, which is now the sidings. There you go. More evidence of a former track bed. We've got some sleepers down. Can't quite make out what manufacturer they are. It's faded away. Probably put in in the 60s or the 70s. Let's see if any of the ones further down. Don't, is that Domac? Dalmac? There we go, just make that one out, look. Oh, Mac. So, yeah, quite a long section and spread of them here. Look, I'm going to duck down under here and continue on. And it looks like they're going to abruptly come to an end. So, nice little section of sleepers there. So that would have probably been buffers probably down there when it was just sidings, when the through route finished. Now yep, I can see something else that you're going to like. There's more sleepers down there and they're a lot more obvious and open. Look at this. Look at that. That's quite, that's quite significant, isn't it? That's a good little shot that is down there. You can just see the clips running all the way down what would have once housed the rails on both sides. And the awesome leaves kind of making it look a lot more haunting and picturesque at the same time. Uh, I can't really tell if there's a manufacturer's imprint on any of them, so they could be completely different to the first one we're looking at. 
I can take you all the way down. So currently it looks like there's just a single track width still here. That's a steep embankment reservoir just over there. And just undergrowth over there. No sign of anything else railway related. But that's a really good start in it to Silverwood Sidings. Let's crack on and push on back towards the junction up ahead and see if anything else remains. So at this point you can see if I show you around it's pretty much opened out quite a bit so this is still that single track we've been following since the start but you can see it was in fact wider another track has obviously come down at some point and headed off alongside this one this one again with Dalmac sleepers carries on as it did but I'd say it could be another one two three more track widths maybe even four going on maybe five or six tracks wide at this section I'm hoping we'll see evidence of at least another track alongside this one and that could give us an indication of a former passing loop or a run round for the locomotive. And continuing on look that's where I just was when I was talking to you about the whips of the track and the sleepers are carrying on. So I'm going to assume we're going to get these all the way to the junction for the colliery just a little way up there. But still no sign of an additional track need to get around here somehow let's go through here and out the other side let's carry on look so we'll carry on too again that's looking back from where we started and this is the direction of the colliery we're going to lose it a little bit here due to the weeds and then we'll pick it up again so this is looking really really positive for this walk today isn't it okay more of a ballast like track bed now and we're still on that very same one but curiously there are sleepers chucked over there which must be some kind of second railway line that was here I mean obviously there was one but are these the remains of a run round loop or an additional side that ran along the one we were walking on because there is that one and I think we've got the answer right in front of us. So that's our original track bed we've been following. And dead ahead, we've got a second one. Make that out. Just there, look. So the alignment of this, if I turn you about, shoots over there. But our other one is there. So I'm going to assume that this was actually a set of points. And it joined up just here. So there was, would have been a split just here like that. One down there and then the other one there because they're far apart the trajectory as i say of this one behind me is there and the other one is there but if i turn about you can just see how it closes in on itself to arrive at this exact point excuse the pun but the sleepers don't look like point work so that is quite peculiar again i can show you from this angle this track bed shoots off down there the one we've been following is just there and it comes across like this as if maybe maybe it was a set of points at one time and then it got single lined at some point who knows and right here appears to be where the final sleepers are because it turns into a marshy grassland just here and they just disappear so both ends of these sleepers they're just isolated off let's push on up to the junction and see what's next and this is exactly what's next look it's the old former base of a signal it's still got its cables poking out there look they're going to be isolated they won't be live i'm sure there's a couple of sleepers in the trees there 
But that's uh, quite a little find, isn't it? So for that to be there, that was clearly the former track bed. It was probably in use last. So leave that behind and go over these brambles and sleepers. Hidden amongst the silver birch again, look. I like this, I like this a lot. So that section of track bed up there we just walked was absolutely remarkable. I'm really surprised that there was still that much to be found and seen. So I'm gonna head off now to Silverwood Junction as we take our route towards the former main line and the colliery and the sidings was over there where we began at the beginning of this video. So let's push on and hopefully we'll find some more good stuff. This is Silverwood Junction. So the line behind me shot off and curved around towards the pit. And the line there is where we've just come from, off towards Silverwood Colliery Siding. So this direction, that is gonna be somewhere our main line. I'm hoping to be able to navigate that back towards the route between Sheffield, Rotherham, and of course, Mexborough. And a straight away look. There we go. So. There's the edge of the sleeper, so the track is going to be somewhere there and across here. And I'm hoping this path here is going to take me along this route. If we go through here, it appears that it may well be just about to do that. And is it going to bring us... Oh yeah, look. And is this indeed part of an old foot crossing or is it just a pallet? That's, I think that's an old pallet, so ignore me for saying that. And more sleeper evidence just there look that's brilliant isn't it okay it looks like we can follow this route and i'm hoping it will take us all the way to the other end not really going to be able to use the drone around here there is a lot of air traffic helicopters as well and it's all built up so if i can use it later on i will do but for the time being it's all going to be ground level action so it's something good to show you so we just come from up there and below me is vale road which means we're on a bridge and we can walk across it. It's not fenced off, it's not broken down, it is just a bridge. That's what it looks like on the other side. And as mentioned before, it is built up, that's why we're not using the drone. It's still got all four coping stone and abutments present. Now, hey, oh, we've got some sleepers there, looks on the bridge as well. Stuck in the uh, grass. And that over there was the site of the former Silverwood Colliery. Around about ooh, five minutes walk over there and Rotherham is in that direction. Still got the markings on the bridge number imprinted just here, look. For those that's interested in that. And there's a track bed carrying on so we can continue on, look. And it's still got sleepers down. I say this um, security fence, it doesn't look all that old but it's probably to prevent people falling down as opposed to actually getting on. Because it is quite a drop down there. And it goes all the way around there. That doesn't look very old at all. Uh, sleeper's still down. And there's a bridge we just crossed, the Vale Road. This is very bizarre. A family of piggies living right here. How odd is that? So about a half a mile down from Silverwood Colliery and further on down from Silverwood Junction, we're now at Park Lane and Fiveburg is up there. And I'm aware I'm probably pronouncing that wrong all the way through. It's a peculiar spelling of a name, but uh, if I'm wrong, please comment below um, and I apologize. But yeah, Fiveburg Village up there, Rotherham in that direction. 
and we've got this nice bridge look put all the way over as they always do nice stone walling though at the top look sandstone walling that's really nice isn't it uh, sleepers still present underneath as well as a lot of boulders to prevent vehicles coming down it does look like motorcycles use this occasionally but the way the sleepers are it's as if the track was just ripped up and the sleepers were just flopped around and then just landed wherever they did or are out the other side evidence of the road being widened there look you see the stone finishes there and then these concrete sections just there so the bridge and the road above was in fact widened same on this side as you'd expect so we're going on this way we've got Doncaster Road coming up very soon which we hopefully will be going underneath we've still got sleepers on the ground and there is the bridge we've just come through and the sleepers do carry on look it looks like they're gonna actually they probably are still there it's just the overgrowth is uh, covering them up still very close to the bridge and it looks nice and clear going forwards too so a little bit of local information this was originally known as John Brown's Railway and it was in order to link Silverwood Colliery to Staves situated alongside the River Don and that's where we're off to today and this line along with the collieries became the sole property of John Brown and Company of Sheffield in 1910 giving the line its local name and just here you can see the site of a former station Fiber Tins Railway Station and this was a short platform built alongside the Great Central and Midland Joint Railway line between Fiber Junction on the Great Central Railway and Silverwood Colliery and it has to be one of the shortest living stations ever 1959 it was opened and it was closed by 1968 and it was opened at the request of the local working men's club about 75 foot in length that's all it was so we are coming up to Doncaster Road already Doncaster that way and Rotherham that way that's just ahead of me and once we get through there the track bed will curve to the right slightly as it heads off towards the main line and on both sides there was all sorts of industry on the left hand side there was even a steelworks but a lot of it I believe is reclaimed land or it's been turned into something else still got the sleepers present at weird angles in some places but straight ahead of me look there is Doncaster Road Bridge made of stone and that's looking really really good as well got the sleepers underneath it as per the other two bridges we've been under and also the bridge we went over underneath Doncaster Road and curiously I like this it's got recesses look two of them there and two of them there you don't very often see them in bridges do they it's quite a wide bridge but they're not very deep so we could we have to watch out for spiders I had an incident with a spider's web a few days ago in a culvert near oh right town um yeah track down look don't back sleepers again but i like that look at that very very smart indeed so this is what it looks like between park lane and doncaster road and if we take a jump over to the old map we can see the line is under construction that's absolutely fascinating again isn't it but the interesting thing is the road names are completely different back in this map. Now, what is Doncaster Road is in fact a different name altogether. It is actually known as Winnie Hill. Coming out of it, we're presented with an extremely deep cutting. Is it on both, yeah, both sides exactly the same look. Look at that coming down from there. And this is just hidden down there like another world. It also looks like from this angle where I'm stood, like there's quite a gradient from here it really does look like that's going uphill I don't know if it's just the rocks causing that can't really see it on camera but it does look like there is a bit of a gradient going on there and I think to confirm that actually if we look at the stonework underneath you could just make out just there look it goes narrower so it is indeed on a gradient can we see the same on the other side I'd say so looking carefully yes it does so it is going uphill so let's get ourselves out the other side and we're going to push on 
and it looks relatively clear and autumnal but it should eventually start curving off to the right. It's a nice piece of old relic, isn't it? How old do you think that is? As old as the railway, maybe. Is it also carved out on the other side? Yes, it is. That's good, isn't it? What a find. Now, we are doing that curve I was telling you about around this way. We've still got the track bed just there, sleepers and ballast present. We've come from around there and we're going around there. It will straighten up for a little while before taking a sharp turn left a little further down. I've just caught the embankment momentarily while I can. And you can see all the steel works. I believe that's steel works over there still. And industry, Rotherham and Sheffield, way beyond that. So there's a bit of a path coming from up there now. So back down to the track bed to get you down there. It's going to be a bit more wider. Now the track itself is just here. And the path's there and the sleepers continue on in that line of track work just there. Hey, it's quite the embankment look. I'm cutting but on the other side. I'm going to take you onto the track bed. Sleepers. Hey, it's a very, very steep drop down there. Don't look at the camera, does it justice? It's the edge. That is a very long way down. And we completed that curve. That's beyond us. Should be able to see it actually. There you go, it just slides its way around just there, look. And this is the view going forward. Lots of ballast and sleepers again on the left. You can see it would have been double track at one point. And it's very, very straight. Okay, last look at the maps and we can see where we are. The River Don going from left to right and our railway line crossing the River Don Bridge, which is right about here. I'm going to go to the partially faded map to give you a better idea of how the lay of the land is. And you can see all the industry on the left hand side. But notice in this one, there is no railway line or River Don Bridge. Going to jump over there again, look. And all we've got is the other line going off to the left hand side. But our line, our walk, what we've done today, is not yet existing in 1903. I've got a gate post there, look. And a gate post there. It almost feels like I'm back in Lady Barbara's bar again. And there was a siding that went off that direction towards, I'm not sure what it was, some sort of factory. I believe it probably was. And it came off the track bed sort of like this. So I'm assuming that that's what that was. Back on our track bed, piles of sleepers right there. But they have all been lifted. That's where we're going now. We've got active train lines not far over that side of that hedge. There's security fencing. There's sidings for the rod mill and the steelworks just over there. Another neatly stacked pile of sleepers there. And we're pushing on around this left hand turn before I believe we get to the River Don. So around about here would have been Don Bridge East Junction. And that would have gone off over there and curved on to what is now the active line that goes into the rod mill and steelworks. That is just over there. Um, I've still not been able to put the drone up because it is very, very windy. I've got some sleepers back again, look. And there are a lot of electricity cables and pylons right next to the track bed. Quite a drop down as well, look, on quite an embankment. So as I say, we're going past a big body of water on the right in a moment, and then we'll hit the River Don Bridge. We're not going to get on there, unfortunately, because I've already seen from Google Maps that it is fenced off on both sides. Guess what, I got to the bridge and there's a really big hole in the fence. 
And this is what we've got, this iron girder bridge. Isn't that just something? Look at that, I didn't think we'd get on top of this. We go over there a lot. That's the active line through there. That's the River Don down there. What a fantastic structure. That is absolutely fantastic, isn't it? What a way to cap off this railway walk from Silverwood Colliery, looking at the sidings and coming under a few bridges and over another one. We've got the active line, just a short distance to the other side of this. It's completely fenced off, no holes, not gonna go through it, not gonna attempt to go over it because I never do that. And I never go near active lines. But from me, South Yorkshire, this has been the former branch line up into Silverwood Colliery like subscribe please comment below and drop your suggestions too thanks to everyone take care bye bye